So Edith is going to start with this marching and shoulder bridge exercise. It's for pelvic and lumbar stability, strengthen your hips, your core. So you're going to start by laying on your back, your heels about hip width apart. Lift your butt up, make sure you feel strong in your stomach and your hips, and then march in place. So the goal here is to try and keep your hips level, so don't let your hip drop on one side or the other. And you don't have to worry about lifting too high. Just try and keep everything level and stable. Next up is a piriformis glute stretch. It's useful to do this with a support. So a table, a chair, anything that you can feel comfortable with bring your leg up, her belly and her chest behind the calf. Keep your chest up tall, lean forward, and go gently in and out of the stretch. You can hold a bit at the end, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Next up is the supported forward bend. So again, a countertop, table, anything that's sturdy and you feel supported. You can place your forearms, your elbows there, kind of adjust your position so that you have a flat back. Lean forward, push your hips back a bit, and you can practice shifting side to side, bending your waist, rounding, arching, it's whatever feels comfortable. This sort of anti-gravity position feels nice. Next is more of a resting position. You're lying on your back, knees bent, and you let one knee fall to the side, it's rotating. This tends to give a little bit of stress relief to the pelvis, opens up. It's nice to lay here for a minute or so. You can also put a pillow or a bolster on the side of your knee. That helps. And last is a hip flexor stretch. So either you see she's up on the table, you can easily do this on a bed or a couch. And it doesn't have to be off the edge. You can have your knee more to the side of whatever you're laying down on. Just enough so that your knee can hang bent. And bring your other knee to your chest to get that stretch through the hip flexors. Mm -hmm.